Hello everybody, that is here. Very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. I decided to come back to LJ1700 testing because I started getting additional blocks and I wanted to see how they look comparing to first three I tested last time. But technically I come up to a little bit of uh, the problem that my original videos all was based on a hardware that I purchased for my personal rig and it's already in use at my home in my basement and that the video that you're watching is actually produced on it so naturally I couldn't just uh, test uh, new blocks on a new platform and properly compare it because it's like new motherboard new CPU new GPU new everything the only thing that stays is the Thermotec case open case and power supply so naturally I had to double my work and retest everything so I also while building my new test bench on, on a new hardware I also tried to fix couple not issues but few things that I didn't like first of all cost optimization for myself I bought kind of expensive motherboard with DDR5 memory which was extremely expensive naturally when I started looking for the similar platform I looked for the motherboard which supports DDR4 memory which I had a lot in the office so I don't need to buy anything second those of you who watched my previous videos remember that I had extremely difficult time of mounting heat killer and original velocity on Maximus board because the heat sinks was so huge so close to the block that it was not enough space for my hand my fingers to tighten the screws and install the block so I even had to finish installation on both blocks using small pliers which is totally ridiculous never had to do it in my life but in that particular situation I had so when I was looking for the motherboard I actually started looking for DDR4 version of LJ1700 MOBO with as small as possible heatsink so you can see this MSI has very small heatsink here lots of space on top of the block very small minimalistic heatsink on this side use two sticks of memory so again I get a little bit more space around the block so that allows me to make a proper installation as we always had so I use my hands whatever the patterns whatever the way I want and uh, no problem so I fixed that second thing that I was super skeptical about barrel flow meter was, was showing like ridiculous 7-8 liters per minute for my installation and I never had those numbers in my life uh, even with like with dual D5s, so I, I switch back to coolant flow meter FM16. You can see right there, which require additional piece of hardware like a display that shows you actual numbers. I put this old <laughs> display for my temperature, so easy on my eyes. And naturally, GPU is different now. I had 380 last time. Now it's 980. Uh, so, sorry, 3080 last time. Now it's 980 many years ago but the purpose of GPU I'm not going to test my GPU but I wanted something to resemble like computers that most of you have at home so you have like CPU block you have GPU block so for restriction levels for some heat output it's just exactly what we need and um, I put a much cheaper reservoir and pump comb but still D5 area at maximum speed but this is a like assembled system from multiple brands basically we sell it on the dark side brand but it's like multiple parts from different manufacturers that we put together and sell as one unit and uh, yeah that's it power supply stays the same those only parts that migrated with case so now I would tell you right away is that definitely this barrel flow meter is kind of wonky uh, I went to proper numbers that I always seen from my customers with, with me when I start using FM 16 in my system so went back to normality other than that uh, I would like to just uh, kind of review results of the same test that we had before I also tested magnitude that last time I didn't have a proper version but I don't want to contaminate magnitude video with all discussions we have right now I just would like to tell you if I saw any difference by retesting the same hardware that we had the last time the good news is that mostly no I, I, I saw different flow rates which was expected 
but uh, in terms of the difference between let's say velocity and uh, velocity two blocks i had pretty much the same result my temperatures is slightly different why because i think i won a little bit better silicone lottery with the chip i got for the my test bench comparing the ones that i have at home so i can overclock multiplier 52 40 the same as last time at least slightly lower voltage numbers so for the difference between velocity and velocity 2 last time we had about two degrees this time i get only one degree difference so very very close it's also partially maybe attributed to faster fans that i put in last time 1850 rpm now 2150 rpm so a little bit faster fans maybe yes maybe no but anyways so slightly slightly lower voltages and different shrinks to one degree so essentially it's up to you if you if you if you already have velocity just buy a backplate move it in you should be okay the significant difference that i noticed by migrating from the maximus to this much cheaper msi motherboard is the fact that i was able to achieve much stable mounting results comparing with last time last time i had a few really awful results so for example i think for heat killer specifically i had the most problems i think i mounted like five times or six times so it it just few times few times i just mount it just goes over 100 degrees right away so i don't bother just wipe it put it back so with velocity original velocity also had a few really bad mounts for the this motherboard when i can enough space for my fingers to put all screws carefully in a cross pattern manner uh, lower the block proper way i had very much not very but much more consistent so i had a couple bad mounts but in terms of like bad means that i had the worst temperatures but i didn't mount once in a way that i hit like 100 degrees because it was totally bad mount so this is good news so if you have a proper uh, if you have motherboard that allows you access to the to the mounting mechanism with your hands properly then it's much easier to mount it if not if you use those blocks that has a mounting mechanism on this side then just make sure that you mount correctly and, and verify your temperatures and uh, if you have a very expensive motherboard and you have money anyways so i my recommendation go with velocity 2 because you don't even need to to think about what kind of uh, abstraction for your hands on on the front side of the mobile you mount it on the back with a screwdriver consistent mount every time so as last time as this time velocity 2 was mounted very nicely the same basically results every time so consistent mount very good result for the velocity original velocity i had a little bit variations but nothing bad as last time so that's a good news and uh, because i think i have a much nicer results in terms of like proper mounting then my difference between blocks shrinks only to one degree that's all i got so not a big deal the flow rates that I, I was working uh, still the difference we had a big <laughs> big numbers last time but this time for the velocity one original velocity 2.3 liters per minute for the velocity two I got 2.9 so it's less restrictive we confirmed it second time and uh, but the difference is more flow flow rate it didn't spell to massive results so basically we have one degree difference because i don't think the, the design of the block let's say fins or whatever make any difference and for the cooling performance i think it's just because more water coming through the block you get a little bit better result so that's that's what we get uh, one thing that i also kind of was um, interested to test is um, 
it was a little bit discussion some people put in the comments that um, because every time I'm saying that lights not good I, yeah, well they look good but the the additional heat source so some people saying it makes zero difference so I took an effort and uh, I tested velocity 2 block on on my configuration uh, with lights on and with light without I actually recorded one degree difference so again it's not the earth shattering but there's some penalty to have a heat source built in in your block so so I stand correctly in my head so that's why I rarely use any lights in my system personally it's up to you you love RGB or whatever be my guest but I don't think it's absolutely makes zero difference so so that's that's what situation with um, with with my new test bench I would like to wrap up this particular video and uh, make a separate video for the magnitude so people don't get bored discussion of past results and comparisons and for now that's it thank you for watching happy to see all of you again to be loyal watchers I'll see you soon